right, people, welcome back to Card Review. So today we are looking at a new quick play spell card in the OCG that may be coming here to the TCG eventually. It is called Anti-Magic Arrows. So once again, it is a quick play spell that reads, At the start of the battle phase, neither player can activate spells or traps or their effects until the end of this turn. And uh-oh, uh-oh. Card and cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card activation. Woo! Spell speed four. All right. So, of course, if you guys do not know what spell speed four is, it is actually not technically a, a Yu-Gi-Oh term in the game state. Uh, you know, if you get a rule book and you try to look up spell speed four, it's not in there. This is actually a player-based creative thing where we pretty much acknowledge this card as the fastest thing possible because you cannot respond to it with card and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation it is pretty much we described as spell before because you can't change it of course as you guys know saucy one are like you know monsters no monster effects and normal spell card spell speed two quick plays and traps and then of course the fastest being spell speed three counter trap cards and generally the only thing that can stop a counter trap card is another counter trap card or respond to it in that same chain or you know but spell before cards you cannot even activate anything because the card says you can't activate anything so literally let's say you have a for hypothetically speaking you have a solemn judgment i play this card you can't even activate solemn judgment like not even the counter trap can get this card so that's why we describe this card as and cards along these lines as a uh, spell speed four there's not a lot of them i think there's only like i'd want to see a handful i'd say this uh there's like some nordic trap card uh uh xyz on core and, of course, the one that's banned, Super Poly. And, uh, of course, you know, Super Poly is probably banned for that reason, the fact that you cannot respond to it. So, at this point, you know, the card is, I think it's, a, I believe it's limited in the OCG. It was limited here, then it's, now it's banned. But, uh, you know, that, that you cannot activate in response to these card activation. It's very powerful. And, of course, you got cards that we kind of talk as a, kind of like, um, we say 3.5 speed, where, uh, you can't activate the card, but you can kind of loop it with a train. So, uh, cards like Goyoku or Night Beam, where you can't, you know, activate that card that they're not using. But if you, like, activate something else in the chain, and then then you can use that card. So, those are kind of like 3.5 speed. So, definitely not as, uh, as good as, you know, the spell speed 4s, because, you know, those cards can be activated in response to those. But these, no. Uh, so, uh, now I explain, explain Spell Speed 4, because, uh, you know, people are saying, like, oh, it's automatically broken. But Spell Speed 4 is automatically broken. Oh, uh, this card, I, I, you know what, I personally like it. As you guys know, I am not a big fan of back row, and, uh, you know, especially going ahead and, and during the battle phase, you know, that's the, that's the thing that catches you off guard. It can only, at the start of the battle phase, you know, a lot of things can happen before the battle phase. You can summon a monster, activate the effect, get Phoenix Chain, get Solemn War, get Bottomless, you know, in your main phase one, a lot of stuff can happen before that occurs. So, you know, the, the fact that you have to wait to the start of your battle phase to be able to do stuff as, uh, with this card is kind of limiting, you know, uh, it's kind of like a, kind of like a trap stun, you know, except, a little bit better because you know stop spells too so uh you know you don't have to worry about going like traps done all right i'm gonna go for my otk and as soon as you try to place it like book of moon you're like fuck you know so uh this also stops spells and traps and their effects until the end of this turn and see i said okay to the end of this turn so uh if you're not too gritty and you don't need your battle phase you can just go stand my face main phase i'm not gonna do anything you know go into battle phase play this card you know, depending on if you have a monster. Can you go into battle phase if you don't have a monster in the field? I'm not sure if you just, you know, go to end phase. So, uh, if you can, and I'm not sure about this, you know, uh, you know go to ba battle phase, activate this card, start in battle phase, all right? Need a player can activate spell or trap cards or their effects into the end phase of this turn. Snap over to main phase two, then do your plays, you know? You're, you can't activate any spell traps, which is kind of hindering, maybe in your main phase two, but your opponent cannot stop you. They cannot, you know, play, you know, they can't Phoenix Chain your monster, they can't Bombless you, they can't warn you, they can't do nothing to you in this main phase too. Because this is for that last until the end of this turn. So, uh, overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It just kind of sucks, like I said, that yeah, you can only be at the start of battle phase. Like I said, if it was like, you know, at the start of your turn, like if it didn't say, you know, neither player can activate spell or trap cards or their effects until the end of this turn, uh, card, uh, not that first part about the battle phase, this card would probably be super busted, you know. Uh, you can just go ahead and take out your traps tongue. You can go ahead and take out your uh, your forbidden lances because this is pretty much just you know the good shit. But it, uh, of course, uh, 
that probably probably even take out maybe MSTs. I mean, MSTs not being played as much anymore. But yeah, if, if it didn't say at the start of the battle phase, because literally you could just play this whenever. If you could play this whenever, this card would be super busted. It'd be like deliciously good. Because you pretty much, and your opponent would be like, all right, I'm going to activate uh, uh, Rigaki. You could be like, all right, chain, magic, arrow, you know, negate it, and all the other chains are always backwards. So neither player can activate spell trap cards or their effects until the end of this turn. So it'd be negated, the rank would be negated, and all the rest of the shit would be negated. So it's a good thing that they decided to go start of the battle phase because this that, that start of the battle phase makes this card go from, you know, go from incredibly broken to just a good card. You know, I have no problem with it. So. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this. Like, supposed to be four, it's so powerful. So, you know, uh, start your battle phase, you know, because the thing with, like, you know, comparing it to, like, trap stun, you know, you have a monster on the field. You go into the battle phase, you go ahead and activate that trap stun. I'm like, I'm going to push. And your opponent goes, like, all right, chain compulse. You know, this? No. No compulse. You cannot. I'm going to get it in, and you're going to get attacked, motherfucker. And then I get honest. Oh, no. <laughs> so, tell me what you guys think about anti magic arrows in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. Oh my god! Wow, I'm looking. I'm looking at the the manga. Yeah, they, 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 the the manga effect is destroy all opponents face down cards. This card, this spell cannot be countered or negated. Wow, that's the manga effect. That's broken. All right, the anime effect. This turn, seal all of your opponents face down cards. Counter spells. Counter spells towards this card are also made powerless. Okay, it's just weird how it's read like that. But yeah, the manga effect. Super busted. Super busted. Just like, ah, uh, wipe all your. It's like a fucking heavy. It's like a heavy feather just there, except face down cards. It's like, it's like, um, Delta Anti Reverse, except everybody can play it. And, you know, you cannot, you know, counter it. You can't, you can't play anything. <laughs> Interesting. No. Alright, alright, alright. I'm done. I'm done with this card. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the uh, comments below and whether you're gonna run it over maybe like Trapstone or something. Uh, people are, you know, saying that it's pro broken, it's supposed to be four, it's, you know, trap stun's done, but, you know, at least trap stun, you can activate it, you know, as soon as your turn starts, you know, draw trap stun, I'm not worried about trap, well, like I said, lots of stuff can happen before the battle phase. So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next time with some more card review. Alright, people, thanks for watching.